Hey friends, I am pleased to introduce you to a new printer review. It's my second Delta printer and I am really excited to see how it performs. We will unbox the FLSAN Q5, set it up and do some prints. Stay tuned! Let's begin with unboxing. On the front package side we see the FLSUN logo. On the left the weight and fragility information for the transport company. Now we opening the box and see what's inside. FLSUN did a really good job packing the printer. Everything looks safe and intended for long haulage. We have two power cords, one for the USA and one for the Europe. Q5 assembly instructions, well illustrated and understandable. Pre-assembled Y, X and Z metal frames with dust protection. USB cable for PC control. Factor arms, spool holder, spatula, pre assembled print head. A bag of tools. Inside we got some snippers, 4 GB micro SD card with reader, screws, tools for assembly, cable zip ties, our magnetic BL touch sensor, our base with electronics and dual gear extruder. Print bed made of glass with a special structure for better adhesion and isolation. Some PLA. And now we have everything on the table for a better overview. I like the style of the end stops, they look very sturdy and I am sure they will stay long. Let's start with the assembly. It's very simple if you follow the steps. We need to flip around the control base, take the screws and our metal frames. On every three corners we have labeled wires X, Y and Z. These match the cables on the metal frames and we have to connect them. Then we tighten the screws and repeat this three times.
Now to the next step, we take the print bed and carefully place our construction on it. Again take the screws and fasten the frame, do not over tighten the screws. Proceed with the factor arms using the pre-assembled screws. The same procedure for the print head. Put the Teflon tube into the feeder and pull it little back to snap it into place. Connect the wires of our control base and the printhead. They are labeled with same colors so you can't make any mistake. Connect the wires of the print bed. We proceed with the spool holder and the top screws. If you like, you can do some wire management with cable ties. Our assembly is finished. Let's power on the printer. Let's take a look to the menu. I like the colorful layout a lot. The touch screen is very responsive. We have many options to choose. We can automatically preheat the print pad and nozzle for ABS or PLA materials, feed our filament automatically, set the Z offset before and during printing. We can also choose between seven languages. Let's start with leveling the print bed. Hit home and attach the magnetic bed leveling sensor. 
choose auto level and confirm. The printer will do measurements, this take around 3 minutes. When leveling is done, you can detach the leveling sensor. After this, press confirm and adjust Z. The operation is very easy. Put on paper under the printhead and press minus to bring down the nozzle. Move the paper back and forward until you feel small friction. Now your printer is fully leveled and we can start our first test print. Let's preheat the nozzle and print bed, put the SD card in and load our filament. You can do this manually or automatically. Let's choose a test print from our SD card. What I would like to mention, the fans are very quiet and the steppers works with TMC2208 drivers. Our first print is not just a test, but also a practical print. We can use it as a phone or tablet stand. Very nice, Effelson. I'm very surprised at the print quality. The Benchy was printed with 100 mm per second. I am very happy with this printer. From assembly to printing, it was a pleasure for me. For this price, you get an incredibly fast and very quiet Delta printer. I'm more than satisfied with the print quality and can recommend it to everyone. The assembly is very well explained and very easy. I link you to the printer in the video description and hope you enjoyed the review. We'll be very happy if you subscribe to our channel. See you next time!